Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to discuss the differences between a linked list and an array. So linked list and arrays both can be used to store linear data of similar types and they both have some disadvantages and advantages over each other. So first of all, let's look at uh, some of the points which uh, goes in favor of linked list. So uh, the first point is that the size of array is fixed. So this means that when you are actually starting to use the arrays, you have to declare the size. Uh, that size has to be declared up front. So what we generally do is we decide on upper limit of the number of elements uh, in advance and then we allocate the memory uh, equal to the upper limit irrespective of the usage. So say we uh, allocated 10 uh, the, me the memory of 10 uh, elements but uh, right now we only use uh, two elements uh, then also we are actually occupying the 10 uh, the storage of 10 elements so uh, also in practical scenarios the upper limit will be rarely reached so uh, the size is fixed and you are actually wasting a lot of memory then the uh, second point is that inserting a new element in an array is an expensive operation. We'll see in the next slide that how it is expensive, but uh, just to give the context that uh, whenever you insert an, uh, a new element uh, in between an array, uh, at that time, uh, there are uh, there is not, not just one operation, uh, it can be in worst case order of uh, n time complexity. Now, uh, let's look at the example. So, in a system, we if we maintain a sorted list of IDs, uh, so we have this array here, the array ID, uh, which currently has five elements. Now, uh, we want to insert this 1005 in this uh, sorted list. Now, clearly this 1005 will be going here. Now, because this is an array, if you want to insert this element at the second position, so we'll have to move the element at the second position to the third position. Then the third element has to be moved to the fourth position and so on till the end of the array. So you see that just to insert one element, we had to move four elements. Now the similar case will be there for the deletion. So if you want to delete uh, 1010, so if you want to delete this element, uh, in that case, we'll have to move the uh, third element to the second place, the fourth element to the third place, and the fifth element to the fourth place. So in this way, we'll have to move all the elements one place to the left. So again, this also becomes an expensive operation. So now look, uh, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of linked list over arrays uh, in a summarized way. So the advantages uh, which linked list has over the arrays is first of all the dynamic size so you don't need to declare their size up front uh, at the runtime you can allocate more memory if you are if you need more memory or you can free the memory if you don't uh, need it at that time also there is an ease of insertion and deletion so you can actually uh, in most cases uh, do the insert or delete operation in order of one time complexity say you want to delete the first element that is an order of one time complexity uh, operation now let's look at a few drawbacks which linked list has so the biggest drawback is actually the random access is not allowed so when you're using linked list uh, if you want to access say fifth element then you'll have to go through the uh, you'll have to actually start from the head pointer and you'll have to move from uh, first to second to third to fourth to fifth element. But in case of arrays, you can directly access the fifth element. So uh, what this uh, means is that uh, if you are not allowed random access, so you can also not do binary search. So binary search actually uh, works only when you have uh, random access allowed since you do not have random access allowed so you'll not be able to randomly access the middle element of the linked list now extra space uh, memory space for a pointer is required with each element so in a linked list uh, for each node you'll have a data part and 
a pointer pointing to the next node so that pointer pointing to the next node is actually an extra space which you require in each node now uh, it is have a better cache locality uh, so the, uh, this actually comes from the fact that uh, arrays use contiguous memory locations so they have uh, all the memory locations are next to each other now this actually uh, improves the performance a lot uh, and because linked list will have uh, randomly scattered memory locations connected through the pointers so the uh, performance will definitely take a hit because you'll have to access the memory randomly instead of a contiguous memory locations so uh, that is all for this tutorial uh, thank you very much